Hi, I'm Brad Greenway, the 2016 America's Pig Farmer of the Year, and I'm here with Keith Shutmer, 2015 winner. Keith, how's it going? Oh, it's going great, Brad, I'm glad to be here. Keith, tell me about your experience as America's Pig Farmer of the Year. Well, you know, it was a very positive experience. It was the opportunity to tell the story of pig farming all across the country and to get face time with those consumers who, who take our product and, and do great things with it in their kitchens. So Brad, less than two years ago, you were nominated for this award and then came the application process. Tell us a little about that. It was actually an online application, and so when you when you print that off, you look at the questions, and honestly, it's questions that we as pig farmers probably should be figuring out the answers to those anyway. Well, I would agree. When you first look at the application, it does look a little cumbersome, but once you start with the process, it made you answer questions that we need to be answering for ourselves anyhow. So it really was not that burdensome. So Brad, when either one of us started down this path of, of speaking engagements and touring, I, I know we both probably were concerned about this, of, of kind of being out there on our own and, and how do we navigate all of this. Wasn't really the case, was it? No, it really wasn't. The support we got from the staff at the National Pork Board, from logistics to helping uh, get involved with social media. And they also got feed over there in the feeder. To travel to presentations, all of that, they wanted to make sure that you had everything to make you successful when you went into a venue. So tell me about the time commitment and the time away from the farm. It absolutely is a commitment and we need to be aware of that uh, when we start this, but you know, we start with making sure we have the support of our family and then uh, certainly the support of our staff because hey, these are the guys that have to cover when I'm gone. And, and uh, my family and my staff was very, very supportive. We tried to involve them in, in every step of the way and and it really worked out well, and, and the year goes by pretty quickly. So Brad, after a year on the road and, and, and representing the, the pig industry as America's Pig Farm of the Year, why is this program so vitally important to the industry? You know, every, every time that I got a chance, an opportunity, I call them, to speak to a group, they just wanted to get good information about what actually happens on our farms. They truly are interested, and I, I always felt that, you know what, if I can be the resource or the source of information. And the neat thing is, is I think every time that you talk to one, they're probably gonna tell somebody else. And so it's a way of spreading their message to a consumer audience. And I'll tell you what, every time I felt that you come away and you did some good, somebody actually knew when they left that presentation or that talk of what we do on our farms every day. Keith, now that we've both been through this process, why should others apply for the same role? You got to start with it's a very, very worthwhile cause, and that's telling our story. We talk about that all the time, that the consumer nowadays just really is not aware how their food is raised. And anything we can do to bridge that knowledge void to them is a positive thing. So I would encourage any producer that has thought about it, I would say, do it. It, it may stretch you out of your comfort zone. Uh, you know, you end up in places like New York City or California or New Orleans, and some of the places you've been, but you know, it, it's, it's okay to be pushed out of your comfort zone just a little bit and really is a very, very positive experience, a very fulfilling experience. I would, I would have to agree, actually. I mean, every experience I had, uh, when I come away from there, I thought, you know what? I felt like I did some good. I felt that the consumers are truly interested in what happens on our farms every day, and we need to be the ones that share that story. And so it was a tremendous experience this last year. I encourage anybody, if you're interested at all, Let's do it.